sixes for artistic impression. Now the skaters are about two minutes into their warm-up. Paul Wiley has been skating professionally for two years now. And stylistically, artistically, he's come into a league all of his own. The program elements that I think will be most interesting in his performance are first a spiral into a triple flip. It shows both stretch and good technical moves. Then his triple Lutz jump, which so many skaters have had trouble with. And finally, split jumps and a split flip for the tautness and tension in his skating. And you're seeing Scott Davis, the reigning national champion, wanting to rebound after two subpar performances at the Worlds and Olympics. And the most interesting elements in Scott Davis's program will be certainly his two triple axles. The first a single one, the next one in combination with the double toe loop. The combination spin will show his talent as a spinner. And finally, the footwork into a triple Lutz will test his ability on that very difficult jump. And a look at Aaron Nielsen, the bronze medalist at this year's nationals. And he is really a skater on the move up in the ranks. And that backflip will certainly be one of the elements to watch in his program, along with the triple Lutz earlier in the, in the program and the way he plays to judges and, and really goes at it, which is all acceptable in this kind of a competition. Shows the different character of this Pro-Am event. And Todd Eldridge, he's been a national champion two times, but lately he has been struggling. Well, now, Todd Eldridge has a rather interesting program here. It's a new one for him, and it's quite interesting. In the meantime, the specific elements that we'll want to watch are his triple Lutz, because that seems to be the nemesis of so many skaters, a death drop, and a very attractively well-done knee slide. I think it'll show an interesting side of, of Todd Eldridge that we've not seen before. The prize money here totals over $300,000, and the top man will take home 40000 of that. The skating order for today, in the reverse order of the standings, Paul Wiley will skate last. And first is Todd Eldridge skating to Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar.
In 1990, Todd became the youngest U.S. men's champion in 24 years, and he's won U.S. titles at all three levels, novice, junior, and senior. so effective for him. It's by far better than he's done in a long time. It's fast, it's got wonderful technical moves, and he's doing it extremely well. This is a good step forward for him. Energy is holding up well. The effect of his, I guess, of the competition of spins pulled forward by Scott Davis has improved his. This is very nice. So many nice things come together in this program. An awareness of the importance of speed in spins, particularly there at the end of the program, an emotional strength, and a, a very clear vision of what he's doing for Todd Elder. A nice program, really first rate for him. We see the, really the excellence of his moves, the tightness, the cleanness, and as he follows it up, with a double toe loop. Very, very nice. Secure, clean, confident, wonderful. And this kind of body slide that he does later in the program clearly shows the change in his performance, the willingness to just pull up different kinds of moves. I think this program was an, exceed an exceedingly uh, successful one for him. And the marks for technical merit from 5-6 to 5-8. Now, they're very, very good ones. I mean, I think the, the solidity of that performance set a very good tone for the men's event. Uh, it was nice to see that. It was just a good performance for Todd Eldridge. All the way around, he should be very proud of himself. And his marks for composition and style. And the marks for composition and style from 5'7 to 5'9. And isn't that great that the judges are responding to this type of performance? 